Well, it's that magical time of year again, the Las Vegas Antique Arms Show. So, sit back and let me show you some of the highlights. It is not every day you see a dancing, brothers. This is the Navy version. Of oh, she's such a beauty. You know, it kind of reminds me of Vincent Van Gogh. All the corners here. Let me flip that around. Well, once again, it would not be the Las Vegas Antique Arm Show without a walker. Here is Company C number 12 walker. And as you can see on the barrel, the frame, and underneath on the trigger guard, in those really tiny letters say Company C number 12. There is no other serial numbers on these. And then on the bottom of the grip here, it says Company C number 12. But that is the infamous Colt. And well, here's here's another walker, B Company number 175. Now this one had had the newer style latch put on it sometime later on in its life. You can still see the cutout for the old style spring latch. Isn't that a beauty? Now, one very rare duck down here. Huh. Yeah, a Whitneyville. I have never seen a Whitneyville in my life until this one. We got the spill and burr in the background. And we get the Leech and Rigdon. We'll scroll down just to let you guys see what else is here. Some 51 navies. So yeah, you know, you see this, you'd say, oh cool, it's a Henry. It, that, that's not a Henry, guys. That is volcanic. That are Henry's, much larger. This is like a little, it's like a volcanic that was turned into a, a rifle carving. This is the ultimate snapper rifle. The gun snapper wants so bad, the snapper rifle. Colt revolving carbine. Sorry about that. Uh, Brian. Fourteen hundred. Look at this beautiful eighteen sixty six engraved. But 
look at what's behind it. That is an iron frame Henry. Wow. And for all the Henry lovers out there, matter of fact, we've counted, I think there's more than 15 of them here at this show. They're everywhere. They're like rabbits. They're just popping up everywhere. But I've never seen an iron till now. to the Winchesters. Winchesters for days. 1966. Let's get an idea here. 12,000. 28,000 and 13,000. Hi. So, Samuel Colt's son, this. This is single action army. Eighteen eighty three model. Looks just very similar to my eighteen eighty two one. All the markings are roughly the same. Except for it's got the longer barrel. And here is the factory letter. Do you guys want to pause that and read that? Well, I'm going to go back and get some more up close of this Walker and the Whitneyville Dragoon. See if we can zoom in a little bit for you. Oh, that's backwards. Beach and Rigdon. Actual Whitneyville Dragoon. Now, it actually has the company listing. The serial number, normal like. It has a serial number like a. Spillern Burr. Well, this is what I ended up scoring at the gun show. This Colt Pocket Navy, which is something we've been looking for for quite some time now. Keep an eye out for it and you'll see it on this channel quite a bit more. Sorry I didn't get much more video of the show, you guys, but I, when I was there, I ended up forgetting that, hey, I was a YouTuber, so it was kind of the last minute, I was like, oh crap, I actually need to do some filming. I also had fellow YouTuber Squiblo down, he went with me to the show, and the next day we went out shooting a lot of my guns and some of his guns, so you'll see that on the channel as well, coming up, and that's about it for this one, guys, I'll see you in the next one, bye. After many hours of trying to trade my son for this gun, I ended up learning that my son was working on a deal with the guy to trade me for this gun. What a betrayal!